Hello and welcome back to the podcast, everyone. It is another Thursday, and you know what Thursday means. Thursday means a whole packed podcast full of content ready for you to be able to take notes, take action, and get value where you need it in order to create some amazing outcomes. And I really, really like this podcast. I've been putting this subject matter together for a long time. Like everything I'm going to be talking about today has taken years and years to actually find out and use properly and I'm really pleased to be able to be sharing it with you because today I'm going to be talking about the apps that you can use in order to create absolutely anything on social right so all of the apps that you need to create any different type on social and that is video memes you know podcast audio memes you might have quote images you might have photos you know absolutely anything you want to create on social i'm going to go through all of those you know transcription services um content creation scheduling all of that stuff it's an absolutely packed episode of stuff today so make sure you're taking notes and going off and as you're listening to this podcast go into the app store and download these apps as i go along because believe me it's taken me years to learn which apps work for this stuff there are so many that get you so close to what you want but they don't quite get you all the way there and it's really really frustrating you end up using loads of apps having to move files around loads of different apps which is super annoying super lengthy and super frustrating and it's going to take you ages to be able to create content right and all you want to do is to be able to create content and quickly get it out there and of course your workflow is such an important part of content creation a lot of people ask me dan how do you create so much content and do all this stuff well the answer is i've taken years refining the exact apps that i need in order to be able to create all of this different type of content quickly and you're going to skip over all of that in today's podcast and get the answers straight away so i'm very excited to be sharing all of this now, not all of these are going to be available on every single platform. The ones I'm going to be sharing uh, are predominantly iOS-led and wherever possible. I've come up with other solutions for you, for you Android people. So do let me know if there's something you think doesn't work or isn't available over there. Let me know. Get in touch. Email me, dan at imdanthomas.com, and I will find the Android edition of whatever it is, just in case it doesn't quite work exactly as you expect. But hopefully... Hopefully most of these are available on both app stores and they're going to be able to get you all the way there. Because what I want to help you with today is being able to use your phone in order to be able to create all the content that you need to create. So everything is available for you in the palm of your hand at any time and wherever possible all of that being absolutely free or at a very, very, very low cost, right? Because cost is such an important part of your workflow. And I've chosen things that are either just the best thing and you should use it and they take a small investment or they're completely free, right? I haven't chosen anything that's crazy money for you. So you'll be glad to hear about that. Now, before I jump into the podcast, I just want to give a quick shout out about my coaching sessions. You know, I mention these all the time, but that's because they're really important. I'm doing half an hour free coaching sessions for anyone who wants to come along and help plot their path, plan these things out, help identify your passions and help you achieve your goals. There really is a better use of 30 minutes other than this, right? Invest in yourself, book a coaching session with me. Let's get you following a path, identifying your goals, pursuing a dream. We'll do all that in a short session. It's going to really help you. It's going to get you to the outcome that you want to get to. So head over to imdanthomas.com and hit that coaching session button. And if you want behind the scenes stuff from this show, then head over to my Instagram at imdanthomas and you can get extra quotes and videos and behind the scenes looks and insights into all of the stuff that I'm doing and loads of extra hints and tips. So at imdanthomas over there on Instagram, follow me and get loads more insights. So let's jump into the show and I'm going to go through the different apps that are used for all of the different methods of publishing that I do across social and I'll give you examples of all of these and there's going to be links in the show notes to the things that I mentioned here so you can just hit that link and go over and get the app straight away and as you listen like I say make sure you be downloading the apps as you go so that you've got them all on your phone ready to rock 
ready for you to do all your editing on your phone. Now the first part about content of course is planning out the content that you want to create and then scheduling that content at a time that's going to help you log all of that content, put it into a calendar, work ahead and ensure that you're always continuously pushing out that content and you're not getting overwhelmed and being too reactive with that. And there isn't, I don't think, a better app than Buffer. B-U-F-F-E-R. Buffer is a fantastic free app for content scheduling. You can create absolutely anything in Buffer. You can create videos on there and give them covers. You can create Instagram images and even populate the first comment yourself if you want to, so you can schedule all of that. It links to Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all of the big networks, Pinterest, all of them. You can front load it and put it all in there. You can set scheduling time slots, so you can just drop something in and say, put this into the next available time slot, and you can choose the exact times for those time slots and which time slots occur on which day. So you might publish more on a weekday than you do on a weekend. So you might have like four slots on a weekday and then only two slots on a weekend, for example. You can set that whole calendar out and ensure that every time you push something out into Buffer, you can put it in there as well. You can even, when you're going to create your content, make different editions of the same content that you're pushing out there. So when you actually go to create it, you can just hit the network and you can say, you know, customize this for that particular network. So you can add a little bit of customization in there that's going to help just slightly differentiate your content as it comes in. Now, Buffer is completely free. If you want to upgrade Buffer, then you can even get a visual calendar and you can kind of drag drop things around a visual calendar, which is really cool. It's like under $10 a month for the upgraded Buffer. And that also allows you to put in additional social profiles that you might want to put in there as well. But if you just go with the free one, then you get three social profiles, which generally is going to cover you with whatever it is that you're looking to do, right? You can just use those three. Now, in addition to the app itself, you, it also comes with extensions for your phone, which means that when you find a news story, you can just hit share and then type in the description of what you want the social content to be. And then Buffer's going to link to that news story, provide a preview and add in your description and then throw it straight into your next scheduled slot or you can choose an exact time you want it to go and then just publish it out straight away on there as well. It's a huge, huge time saver. When you're posting a lot of content, you really should be looking to schedule that content out so that you know that that content is working for you whether you're around or you're not around. The biggest thing that stops people being consistent is that they try and be too reactive with the content. They try and remember, oh, I've got to post this content at a particular time. That time comes up, you're busy doing something else, you miss the slot, a whole day goes by and you haven't posted anything, right? That's the hardest bit. Well, with Buffer, you can front load it. And what I do with Buffer is I actually create the entire week's worth of social content on the weekend, like on a Sunday night, I'll post almost all the updates I'm going to create throughout that entire week. I'll post them all into Buffer in one go, and then I know my social is just running on autopilot the whole time, which is a massive, massive thing. So then all I just do is drop into my stories and update my Instagram stories, for example, which have to be you know live and on the day, but I'm not overburdened with content, right? And at the same time, what I'm doing is any time something interests me that I find on the internet that I think, oh, I could use that at some point, I'm putting it down in a notebook like Evernote, and I'm writing everything down so that as soon as something inspirational hits me, I'm jotting it down, I'm putting it down in a notepad, and it's there for me to refer to. So when I get to the end of the week on Sunday night, I've got a whole list of stuff that inspired me. Now, you can't just remember this stuff, right? If you just think, oh, that'll be nice to do something about. An hour later, that's going to be gone. It's out of your head. So throw it into a note-taking app, something like uh, Evernote, or you could use Native Notes, or if you've got Google Docs or whatever, throw it into a note-taking app, make sure you capture that little bit of inspiration, and then when it comes to your big scheduling night, you've got a ton of things to look to, and you're not going to get a mental block or feel overburdened on your big scheduling night that you don't have anything to talk about. 
real game changer buffer real real game changer definitely definitely worth a look if you want something slightly different pretty much the same service but a slightly different provider hootsuite is another provider h o o t s u i t e hootsuite they do another excellent service very similar to buffer and they offer uh, ever so slightly different but pretty much the same in my mind i think buffers the best and the easiest way to go and they have a great podcast and they have a really really good blog as well that's going to help drive you better and better results so do check out buffer available on both ios and android definitely worth taking a look so of course the question is now that i've got a whole load of content to schedule right how do i actually create that content well my very favorite app for creating content is canva c a n v a canva again available both on ios and android Canva is an app that allows you to create your own designs through templates. It's got literally thousands of templates for every single different type of thing that you might want to create online. So it's got templates for Instagram stories, it's got templates for Instagram posts, YouTube channel art, uh, YouTube video art, it's Facebook posts, Twitter posts, LinkedIn posts, you know, every single thing. It's got templates for all of those preset to the optimized size and shape. And it's got an amazing editor where you just drag the shapes and the text around. Just double press it. You can scale things. You can change the color of things. You can upload images as backgrounds. You can create uh, masks and frames. I I think it's the most capable visual editor that you're ever going to find out there. And even better... It's completely and totally free. So what I use Canva with is I use a base template for one of the things I want to create. And then I adapt it to my own branding. And then I have a range of templates on Canva that I use in order to very quickly create something. So for example, I might have a quote post. So uh, if you're familiar with Instagram, you there's this new quote post format where there's a little picture of you and some sort of writing underneath on a white background kind of looks like a, a Twitter snapshot, just a little quote post. I have the template, I load up Canva, I type in my new quote, I hit save and it's done. It's so fast, so, so, so fast and it will save you a ton of time. You'll very quickly build up a catalog and all of that catalog is going to be branded after you, which means that you can then really quickly create any type of image post straight through Canva. And now recently they've just started bringing out video backgrounds as well, which are even better for Instagram story type posts where you can actually have a video playing in the background and then text overlay over the top. It really makes for amazing looking designs with no personal design effort or design skill required. And to put something out there which looks really, really good, it's quick to create, and you are proud of. It's a huge, huge time saver and an amazing way to be creating your content. It's going to create great-looking content absolutely free. Now, you can upgrade Canva, but generally the upgrade tends to be more suited for teams. You know, it kind of gives you options like folders and a way to organize your files. And, you know, for for an individual who's publishing, I don't think it's particularly necessary to upgrade. They give you so much for absolutely free. You cannot, cannot do without Canva. So go ahead and check out Canva. If you want a little bit more on the stories side, uh, you can also check out an app called Unfold, and that's really dedicated to uh, Instagram stories as well, if you want to go check it out over there. But I think Canva, leading app at the moment, a big 10 from me. Go ahead and check out Canva. That's going to really, really help you. Now, of course... If you're creating a whole load of posts, you're going to need something that's going to help you find images for those posts. You might have your own images already, which is great. You can just use those. But what if you need some nice imagery, some nice artwork for all of your posts? Well, the good place to go is Unsplash. U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H. Unsplash is the free directory for photography. Now, the best thing about Unsplash is... It's all photography that amazing pro photographers are uploading and giving away for free, right? So it's not a load of stocky images that have been curated and being given away free because they're no good. 
the photos seriously are absolutely amazing. They're all given away for free. You download them in full resolution, so huge image files, and they're there for you to use. You can use them any way you want. Uh, they do ask that you credit the photographer, ideally, but you can use them any way you want. You can use them on your blog. You can use them on your social channels, and the pictures are just stunning. They're absolutely stunning. So if you want somewhere to go for amazing imagery, do check out Unsplash. Combine that with Canva, composite a few pictures together, make some amazing outcomes, all absolutely free. Unsplash, definitely, definitely the place to go. My favorite place for free photos. Another place for free photos you can go is Dreams Time. Uh, there's also Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S, and Pixabay. So links in the show notes for all of those. A whole bunch of places where you can get free photos on there as well. Unsplash doesn't have an app per se, but it has a mobile responsive site. You can just go straight over there from your phone, go to the image, download it straight away, and then share it out to Canva. Super easy way to create amazing images. So how do we start creating videos? Now let's have a look into videos. Well, the first part about videos, of course, is you need a way to actually edit your videos. There's a few different editors out there, and each one kind of offers a little bit different. Sadly, there's not really any editors that offer you all of the above options, or at least if they do, they become quite overly complicated and don't do it very easily. So I'm going to kind of mention a bunch of different editors here, and each one is particularly strong at each particular type of video format that you might want to go with. Now, if you're on iOS, the first type of video editor is iMovie. I think iMovie is the fastest video editor that you can get in terms of apps. It's so quick. You can just swipe to slice your clips, line them all up and put them all together, add a music track and Bob's your uncle, you've got a video, right? Amazing app, again, free but it's iOS specific. The only problem with iMovie is it can only produce uh, videos in 16.9 format. It can't produce any other type of video. You can't create a square video or a portrait video or anything else, which is quite frustrating because it's such a good app, but it only lets you create videos in one very, very specific format. So if you are creating a landscape video, then iMovie's an amazing way to go. If you want something in a slightly different format, the closest video editor to that, which allows you to do in different formats, I think is Adobe Rush. That's R-U-S-H. Adobe Rush does require an Adobe account to log in, so you are going to need to create an account over there. But once you've got it, it really is a stunning video editor. It's so, so fast and it's multi-track, which means that you can put one video on top of another video, potentially clip two videos and, and say, put two videos side by side in case you were doing an interview, one on top of the other, anything like that. And it can create in multiple formats like square or portrait and really, really work for lots of different formats, right? It's super easy to use. Not quite as easy as iMovie, not quite as fast. Um, super easy to use, though. Just drop in your clips, drag along the timeline to uh, shorten them and clip them where you want. Use scissors to cut them in places that you want. Use the audio controls. It's even got filters as well to give you some nice looks. Really, really nifty app to be using for a lot of your video production. And that is available on both iOS and Android. So if you haven't checked out Premiere Rush, go ahead and check that out. Really, really good app to check out. Now, you may well need a subscription for Premiere Rush unless you're already an Adobe customer, at which point that you can just get it for free. So if you want a really capable app, that doesn't require a subscription, then you can check out an app called Luma Fusion. L-U-M-A Fusion. Luma Fusion, really, really good app. This app does absolutely anything you want it to do. You can create any canvas, any video, any size, multi-track editing, very detailed audio editing. It's got filters, it's got cropping, it's got brightness controls, it's color filters, all of this stuff. The only problem is, there's a lot there, and it's not very well thought out, right? It is, from a user experience point of view, it's hard work. It, it, you have to really get used to it. 
it is hard work to use, but it can do absolutely everything. So if you're willing to go through the pain that is learning how to use it, because it's not very intuitive, then it's a very, very capable app. Um, it's available for a one-off fee. It's around 20 English pounds, so what, $25 or so if you want to buy it. It's a very, very good capable addition to have on your phone it's going to be able to help you do anything you want so do check it out it's particularly strong on ipad now of course phones are very small screens and it's quite difficult to work with a phone if you're doing like multi-track editing so it's particularly good on ipad and the nice thing is with luma fusion is when you buy it you get access to it across all your devices. So if you do have an iPad or if you do have a tablet, LumaFusion is really, really strong on tablet because then you can see all the tracks in big, big scale and create a lot easier over there. So do check out LumaFusion. The last one I want to give a shout out to is an app that's called InShot, I-N-S-H-O-T. I really like InShot. It's predominantly used for portrait videos but it's completely free and it's really really quick to chuck them in and get them going it's really quick to just sort of add a video and you can do nice things like you can create a portrait video where there's a video on top and then there's text along the bottom which you often see on social especially in something like instagram stories video on top text on bottom it's really really fast uh, to do something like that certainly a lot faster and easier than rush can do it and it's very, very cheap. It's completely free. And if you want to take away the ads, it's only a few quid as a one-time purchase to get it. It's a little sort of lifesaver that I really like using InShot. It gets me over the line a lot of the times when I don't have other things. And it does some additional nice things like you can drop in icons and text and sort of play around and create some fun video effects and transitions with it as well. It's a good, fun app and very capable and very affordable. So in between those few apps, which is Adobe Rush, iMovie, LumaFusion, and InShot, you're pretty much covering the gamut for all of your video production needs. So definitely go ahead and check those ones out. I think you're really going to love them. Now, what if you want to make what you would call a video meme and a video meme is when you see a video and then it's got text on the top and or the bottom and then it's got captions along the bottom that you can use to actually show whatever is being talked about already now video memes super popular really really good thing to be creating on social but the hard thing about video memes is they take a long time to actually create so how do you create video memes quickly well here's the app that you can use, killer app, I think, that you can use to create video memes super quickly. That app is called Veeam, V-E-M-E dot L-Y. So Veeam, V-E-M-E dot L-Y. And with Veeam, you can create like Gary Vaynerchuk style videos so, so quickly, right? So you just take your video that you've encoded, you stick it in, it will automatically add a top and bottom border in any layout that you want. And it will add that progress bar, that awesome progress bar that we all love. And then you can customize all of the text styles and the size and the color and the color of the progress bar and all of those cool things straight away. Even better, and this is so good, even better... You can even auto-generate captions for videos under a minute, so ones that are suitable for Instagram. It will auto-generate captions for you, and then you can go in and just edit the captions and, and tweak the captions to make the captions absolutely right for your video. It's such a huge time saver, and the reason I say that is because video memes, if you try and create them in Adobe Premiere or Camtasia or any other desktop app, they take absolutely ages to create like seriously ages to create they don't work how you want them to do the captions don't look right things aren't in the right place they take absolutely ages and it's really really painful but with veeam.ly you just upload the video auto generate the captions update the captions and you're done it's so good it's so good so what i do if i have like an interview 
I'll put it into iMovie, chop it up until I get a minute-long video segment featuring highlights that I want to do, throw it over to Veeam, generate the captions, export it, and it's there. It's got the title on the top, the captions on the bottom, the progress bar on the bottom, and it outputs an awesome video meme for you, which is so good. And honestly, I have not found anything else that does this this easily. I really, really haven't. I've tried so many things. Auto-generating captions is something that you normally would pay for, and with Veeam, you get a minute. Now, now, the reason I talk about paying is, sadly, Veeam is a subscription service, right? Every month it's about uh, $10 or so on a monthly basis, or you can just buy credits as you go. So if you get the $10 a month, you get unlimited uh, video memes, or you can just buy them with credits. It's like, I don't know, 99p per video that you buy and you can just buy in as credits depending on whatever it is you need so depending on how many video memes you're making will depend on whether you need the subscription or whether you just kind of buy credits it often gives away free credits and you get a whole bunch of credits when you first join up as well so it's really definitely worth checking out seriously i can't recommend veeam.ly enough it's definitely an app that you're going to want to check out now of course auto-generated captions aren't always particularly accurate and the only trouble with veeam is at the moment their captioning editing is a bit buggy and it's not very easy to actually edit the captions that are generated and they're not always very accurate right they are working on it and i am currently in a beta with them to do it because i'm making sure that they get it better because they're a really good service Um, But if you need captions generated, where do you go for captions, right? Now, a lot of people get their captions transcribed using human transcription, and that tends to be quite expensive, and it also takes quite a long time, like upwards of 24 hours, to turn those captions around. And if you're like me, who's creating on the go and wants to like whip up content as quickly as possible, waiting 24 hours for your transcription file to come back is a real pain. So what can you do instead? Well, instead, you can get your captions automatically generated by AI-level captioning services, right? Where and you actually get AI to listen in and work out all of the words that you're saying. And the accuracy level of these is absolutely unbelievable. Seriously, when I first started doing this, I thought, ah, oh, you know, I'm just going to be editing all of the mistakes that this thing is making all the time. But seriously, some of the really good automatic transcription services, the accuracy level is amazingly, amazingly high. And captioning something is a really, really lengthy, painful, slow process to do as an individual. Because not only do you have to listen to all the words, you have to time them all to the exact point when those words are being said. And even with captioning software... This is something that's going to take you ages. And honestly, you have better things to do with your life than writing captions. Uh, The the biggest, most painful thing for me in all my social media content creation is captioning, or at least it was until I found this amazing service. And that amazing service is called Trint, T-R-I-N-T, Trint. And the best thing about Trint is it's so, so accurate, and it's AI-generated captions, and it's part of Rev.com. Now, if you know Rev.com, Rev.com is a human transcription service, and, and I think one of the best human transcription services that are out there, and they have their own AI solution called Trint. With Trint, you can just pass your video or your audio file over, and you literally get your file back in under a minute with all the captions there. You can go in on desktop and you can update them. And as you go to update them, it plays along. Wherever you click in the text, it plays along with you and you can just quickly change the text file as you go. So it's so fast to listen back and make any tweaks and make sure your captions are accurate. And the accuracy level is absolutely unparalleled. So here's what my workflow looks like for creating a video meme, right? So our film what I want to film, or I'll take an existing movie and I'll chop it up and I'll cut it down to the length that I want. Then what I'll do is I'll pass it over to Trint, and Trint have a native app, both available on iOS iOS and Android. Pass it over to Trint and let Trint run it, come back in one minute, pick up my transcription, and then upload it 
to veeam.ly because you can upload captions directly to veeam.ly over there as well. That way I know it's super, super accurate and I can just put it straight in. It's going to make everything way, way easier. It's such a handy workflow. Huge, huge time saver for me. Definitely go and check that out. Uh, Trint is available. You get the first 30 minutes free and you'd be amazed how long 30 minutes will actually last you if you're only making like one minute Veeams. Um, So go check out and get their free trial. And then after that, you can get a subscription to them. You can just buy credits uh, or you can just buy like one month. It's around $40 for one month's worth. And I guess you're about three hours. And then what you can do, depending on whether you want to continue, whether you're using it all, is you can just cancel your subscription. Then you kind of keep the credits that you've accrued, use them up in your own time, and then jump back onto the subscription again as and when you run out of credits or you need them again. Captioning and transcribing through AI is quite expensive overall. It is quite expensive service, right? And it's consistently expensive anywhere you go. So it's nice that there's a service like Trin that offers you a whole bunch of free minutes and to just buy into credits that you can dip into as you use as well. Definitely, definitely worth checking them out. I love them. You'll love them. Go ahead and try them out. Now, if you are on desktop, side note, I know I'm talking about apps, but I want to shout out this particular desktop application, which is called Headliner. Now, Headliner is completely free desktop application that will help you create video memes as well. Multi-track editor, all in the browser, completely free, and you can create some awesome outputs with Headliner as well. So if you want to do it all on desktop and not on the apps, head over to Headliner, and that's going to help you create those as well all right hopefully you're catching up with me all i know i'm going through all these things fast but i want to make sure you get them all links in the show notes later so you can actually start using them and start doing amazing things with them as well because there's loads i want to get through right so on to the next one Uh, the next one is for creating podcasts so how do you create podcasts well There's podcast services to actually host your podcast. And then there's podcast editors or sound editors that you can use to be able to do that as well. So let's have a look firstly at podcast hosts. There's a bunch of podcast hosts out there. Uh, One of them is a podcast host called Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R. Really, really good podcast service. You can actually use it to dial into other people's podcasts and leave voice messages and then respond to those voice messages. Now, it's actually a podcast community. I wouldn't say it's a particularly big podcast community, but it has been bought out by Spotify now, and I would expect Anchor to be doing some really interesting things uh, as someone who's owned by Spotify in the near future. The nice thing about Anchor is it's a completely free way of hosting your podcast. So if you want to get a podcast up and running, you want an app to do it, You can use Anchor. It's super friendly, super helpful, really, really nice, and you can get yourself up and running real, real quick. The only thing about Anchor is the reason why it's free is because they put advertising around your podcast. So if you don't want advertising around your podcast, you can go with another podcast provider. There are people like Libsyn that offer a really good service. I like a service called Spreaker, S P R E A. K-E-R. I like Spreaker because they have a native app and you can take your audio file, throw it straight into your app and then get it onto your podcast, right? Which means I get a completely mobile only end-to-end workflow with my podcast, which is important because I do all my podcast recording on my phone. So I don't want to have to bring in a desktop if I don't want to. I can do it all on my phone and I use Spreaker for that. There's loads of good podcast hosts out there. Each one of them offers different things. Go out and check out all of their different options. Another thing that's nice about Spreaker is they do a completely free plan where I think you get your first like 10 hours or something like that, completely free, which is awesome. So they'll actually host your podcast for you. You can get started. It's all free, no ads, cool native app, and really, really good service and very responsive uh, in support and chat as well. So a tip of my hat to Spreaker because they have always done me well from a podcasting perspective so then of course you have the question of how do you edit your podcast i love and i uh, the word love is an understatement here right i don't think i would be running my podcast if i didn't have this app and that app is called ferrite now ferrite is my absolute favorite 
app of all time. It really, really is amazing. It is one of those apps that's just a complete game changer for editing audio. It is a multi-track audio editor. You can record audio straight to it. It will detect different sources like my mic. So my mic is actually plugged in via a USB connector to my phone. So pro mic straight into the phone, recorded in ferrite. I can record in lossless sound, and then I can edit on a multi-track editor. And even better, in the multi-track editor, it's all touch responsive, and you can swipe to cut the wave files, line them all up and do it. Everything that you've heard on my podcast to date, every single episode, has been created on ferrite. The speed that you can edit sound on ferrite is ridiculous. I have the high-end pro audio production software that Adobe offer, and I don't go anywhere near that with a barge pole because I can edit so much faster, so much faster, by using my ferrite app instead, right? So there's really no reason why I would. I really love ferrite. It is such a good such a good app to be using, and I can't recommend it enough. So do check out Ferrite. The only problem is, sorry Android users, this is only available on iOS. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I probably should have said that at the start, but it's only available on iOS. So um, it is an amazing, amazing app. Ferrite, if you are on an iOS and you want to be editing your audio, check out Ferrite. It's a huge, huge app and it is so fast it's the fastest app around for editing audio i absolutely love it so go check that out so we've talked about video we've talked about audio we've talked about all the different apps you can get on there as well how about a little change of pace how about email how about email well my favorite email app is MailChimp. Now, MailChimp's my favorite email provider anyway because they do everything free and they create an amazing service. So they're definitely worth checking out. But my favorite email app is MailChimp. The reason why is you can actually create the emails in MailChimp, send them out, get signups, manage your lists, grow your lists, all of that good stuff, right? So if you want a really good app on your phone that you can send emails out on, Check out MailChimp. There's loads of other apps that you can do stuff, but most of them, at least from an email standpoint, you can't actually create the email itself. You can monitor your email traffic, but you can't actually create the email itself. So if you want a good email app, do check out email over there. So that's how to create the bulk of your content that you've got out there. I want to do a few shout outs with some other apps that I use you know, fairly regularly. They're not the sort of every single day things, but they're good apps. And I appreciate them, and I want to shout out a few other apps that I think are particularly helpful and particularly good for some of this stuff. Now, one of my favorite little editing apps for photos is called Fonto, P-H-O-N-T-O. I really like Fonto because it's one of those very few apps that actually allows you to do multi-layered photo editing, right? So Canva will let you do that within the template that you've got, but with Fonto... You can bring in all those images, quickly layer them, put them together. If you want to create a quick composition, let's say you've got a few screenshots that you've taken. You just put those screenshots together into a nice Instagram story or a story like that. You can load up Fonto and very quickly put all of your compositions together in Fonto. It's a nice, quick, easy app, and it does a really good job. Another good app out there is called Cut Story. I like Cut Story because you can just take any video and it's going to chop it up into different length pieces according to whatever it is that you want. So, for example, again, Instagram Stories, it might chop it up into 15-second pieces or you might chop it into 60-second pieces or whatever, but it takes any video file and it will chop that video file up into the number of pieces that you need in order to be able to share whatever it is that you want to share. One of those things, you probably won't use it a huge amount of times, but it's nice to have it, and it definitely helps out with your content production. A good app, if you're taking pictures of documents or whiteboards or capturing like ideas that you've had, a good app for that is Office Lens. Office Lens will actually take the images that you've taken and it'll flatten it. So whatever picture you take, right, you might have taken a picture of a whiteboard at a weird angle. Office Lens will actually flatten that. It can actually take away all the color, create a black and white edition, capture whatever it is that you're working on. And then oftentimes I kind of share like, you know, here's the board or here's my thoughts or here's the thing I'm working on. 
And it's a really, really nice way to very quickly almost make a document version of a photo that's out there. It's an app I use sort of uh, from time to time, especially for work. Good little way to be sharing some of the stuff that you're up to and for giving people insights into the different things that you have going on. AudioPo is a really cool little app, again for iPhone, I'm not sure it's available on Android, that will just let you play back files really, really quickly, right? So you can actually pass a file over to AudioPo and then play it back or three or four times the speed. I use AudioPo quite a lot for my podcast because when I've produced my podcast... I'll pass over the produced version into AudioPo and then I'll listen back to it at four times the speed just to give it a final, very, very quick proofing run through before it goes out. If you listen to it back at normal speed, you know, it might take you 40 minutes to get through it, right? So it's nice to just be able to play it back and just go blah, 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 and just have it run through. Blah, blah, blah. That's, 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 my, that's my impression of what I sped up audio podcast sounds like. Just play it really fast back and then you can very quickly review anything you've got going on in the podcast and just to double check that you haven't made any mistakes down the line. And then the last app I want to shout out isn't a graphics or a video or an audio editing app at all. It's just one of those apps that I could not live without. And that is an app that's called File Browser. Now, File Browser is an app that just allows for the sharing and the moving of files around. And the thing with all of these editors is you are going to need some kind of document management app that's going to help you move things. Oftentimes you need to move something to a staging area in between one device or the other device, right? So you might need to download it to somewhere. So you put it in File Explorer. And then you might need to upload it back to something else like Trint, for example. Or you might you might have to download the subtitle file you get from Trint and then pass it over to something else. So it's a really, really good middle way app that allows you to just move things around and allows you to pass things between different apps really, really quickly. It's a brilliant app. It's absolutely brilliant. Again, it's iPad and iPhone specific. Sorry, everybody. Um, But another app you can use that has a similar function, of course, uh, is Dropbox. Dropbox is free. The nice thing about a file browser is completely local on your phone. You can always use it, and it just works with everything. It just has an extension for absolutely everything. It allows moving of anything. You can open zip files. You can open music files. The compatibility of it is amazing. It will just play and do absolutely anything that you have in your mind and it will just get you out of a fix and it will help you get to your end outcome whatever you're doing whenever wherever you are so it's a super super powerful app i really like it because it will just do absolutely anything and it's going to help you okay (sighs) i should take a deep breath we've covered a lot we've covered a lot of apps here it's like 40 minutes worth of apps all covered in that podcast. You're going to need to go out and get all of these apps and check them all out. But the good news is I've done all of that testing for you. I can assure you that all of these apps actually do what they say they do and they do that thing really, really, really well. And they get you to a point where you can actually use them in a workflow. You know, so often you find these apps and they're like, oh, that does one thing really well. And then you try and move it into another workflow or use it in another way. And it just It just doesn't work. You can't use it. It will get you like three quarters of the way there, but not the end. And then to get to the end, you need to like bring in two or three other apps just to get you to your final result. And it's really, really frustrating. So I've tested out all of these apps for you, right? Everything I've mentioned today, they're all apps that I use every single day, day in, day out, all the time for creating my content. And they're fast. They're fast apps. They're easy apps to use. And they're going to get you to the end result because the most important thing for me is that the production doesn't get in the way of the actual content itself, right? I want to be able to create my content, get it done, get it produced, get it out there as quickly as possible. I do not want to be spending hours and hours and hours in production, right? And that's the most important part of this. And all of the things that I've shared today are really, really cool apps that are going to help you do that. Now, I want to hear your feedback on which apps you use because you know i don't know every app in the world although i feel like i've tested every app in the world what i normally do when i go to try and find an app that does something is i'll go to the app store and i'll download every single app that does that particular thing and i will test every single one to find the one that works the best right so i have tested 
a hell of a lot of apps. But I'm sure there are apps out there that I have missed. So please let me know which apps you think are amazing, which ones you use in your day-to-day, and which ones I should be checking out. Head over to at I'm Dan Thomas on Instagram, DM me, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and which apps you use. I really, really want to hear from you about that as well. And if you found this podcast helpful, then make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and leave me a rating and review if you haven't done that already. Ratings and reviews are what powers podcasts right they're the biggest thing to drive more traffic to podcasts than any other thing you can be doing your rating and review is an absolutely crucial part of me growing out this podcast and getting the message out and getting the value out to new people so if you've been listening to this podcast and you haven't left me a rating and review yet it only takes a minute and it goes so 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 far to helping me get the word out i'll be so grateful if you could leave me a rating and review I can share it out and do share the podcast out to anyone else that you think it might add value to as well. It would mean the world to me to get this podcast out to more people. So please go ahead and do that for me as well. So I hope this has been helpful. One last shout out, coaching sessions, I'm danthomas.com. Sign up, get yourself on a path, discover your passions, achieve your goals. Seriously, take some time. Let's put it in half an hour and let's do some amazing things in that half an hour as well. So I hope you enjoyed the show, everybody. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.